Hi, I am Shalia, also known as Shoes and Wheels on socials. Currently, I am riding on a chuffed boot, um, truck and hanger. Nothing much has been changed other than wheels, bearings, and I've added a disco block, which you can see. Um, I've had this set up for about a year. I love it. I have the three inch silver hangers. I'm wanting to customize these, so that's what we're going to do in this one episode. I have got my paint and tape. I'm gonna make these pretty. So yeah, let's do it. I've been doing a lot of research on trucks and you know, I thought I would just give these a go for now. And they're quite cheap in comparison to everything else. They're really hard to come by. Everything is extremely sold out at the moment, but that's just skating at the moment. Everyone is into it, which I love, but it's making gear hard to come by. I have got my chopping board. I have made some few pieces of tape together and put that together. Um, and I've just been slicing circles a little bit bigger than the hole. So this is what it looks like. And I've covered that whole section because I do not want it to get smaller because it's already going to be a tight fit. The sides, this thing, it goes into the pivot cup. Because I really don't want it to be tight and not fit, so better to be safe than sorry. This is how it will look once it's taped. I have got these here because once I'm done spray them I'm gonna carefully lift them up and plop them like this to dry. Alright, so gloves are needed. These are needed. Don't do it too close because the first one it ran a little bit so that is coach number one this coat this is the first one i did and it went a bit heavy in some spots um and i've just dropped that on this so ah be careful it's coat number two they're looking pretty spiffy. So I did three coats of the color and two coats of the clear varnish. I had two trucks that I have issues with. I went a bit heavy on the final coat on them. I got really excited and really impatient. And I was like, just cover that up. Um, and it caused all of the paint to shrivel up and crack and peel off. So. Do not be impatient. Do not go too heavy on the coat. Long, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, that'll be fine. So yeah, I had to get in, remove all the color off with nail polish remover. They are in the sun. I need them to harden. I don't know, they're feeling a bit soft. Like, you know, when you just paint your nails and you can still put an indent in it. That's kind of how they are. So um, I reckon I'm gonna wait a couple of days. Let them set. So this is how they're looking. We've got three coats of the color and two coats of the clear varnish. I think I got like a semi-gloss, so it's come out like a nice matte. This is the one that had the issue, so yeah, you can see I've knocked it a few times and it's just still a bit soft. So I'm waiting for that to harden a bit more. Thank you for joining my first part to this series. I will be back to fit them, review them, and I'm going to eventually change my current boot to a custom Vans build, which I'm going to build myself. <laughs> so if you want to stick around and see the do's and the don'ts and you know, the trials and tribulations of making your own custom park setup, I would love you to stay. So they're the buttons. If you want to do your do or not, that's fine. It's up to you. <laughs> Thank you, bye.